Alright, so today I'm going to be going over everything in the adjustments panel over here. Alright, so this is just an image of water I've taken. And let's start with brightness and contrast. Alright, basically, brightness and contrast lets you change the brightness of your image. And it also lets you change the contrast of your image. Very contrasting, not contrasting. Contrast is basically the lighter and darker and how they go against each other. They contrast each other. Brightness is just lighting and darkening your image. Okay, next we have levels. Levels shows you a histogram of basically the lights and darks of your image. You always want at least a little bit of pure white and a little bit of pure black in your image. Otherwise, it doesn't look very balanced. This doesn't apply to every image, but most images. Like that. Okay, next we have curves. It's the same thing as levels, but lets you change it a little bit more critiquedly, like on a line. You can just put as many points as you want and just keep changing it. You can get some really good effects with this. Next we have exposure. Exposure is basically how much light is let into the area. Like you're exposed to this much amount of light. Offset is basically pure black or pure white. Gamma correction basically just 0 0.01 is takes out all the gamma. This doesn't take out any and this balances it zero. Well, actually, it's at one. My bad. Balance is at one. Okay. Next, we have vibrance. Basically, just intensifies all the intensifies all the colors. Saturation, how much it intensifies it, and also there's a saturation like color, how much color there is. Then there's hue and saturation. Again, saturation, how much color, but this one lets you change the color to like purple, it's kind of cool. You can also make it black or white. And that's it for that. And next we have color balance. It lets you change the color according to these. Midtones, shadows, Highlights. And then we have black and white. Turns the image black and white. And you can change the color of each color in the image to whatever color you want. Like how, how dark or how light it's going to be. That's what I meant to say. Like that. Next we have photo filter. Basically, it lets you a uh, put a filter over top. Say deep blue, and then you can do that. It makes it have a filter over top of it. Then we have channel mixer. Kind of mixes bunch of colors. Monochrome is basically black and white. Black and white with infrared. It just kind of like fuses certain colors together. Okay, and the color lookup. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> it seems to just be like a different type of overlay system. Not quite sure how to use it. Although, it seems like it's just another filter that goes over top. So, basically, it's just a bunch of presets. You can be—I guess—you can make your own. Is what it looks like. Yeah. Then we have invert, which inverts the color. <laughs> it takes these colors that it has right here and takes the opposite. Because the opposite of green is purple, apparently. 
and posturize is pretty weird. Don't really know how to explain it, but it basically makes it look less detailed, is how I would like to put it. But basically it takes all the detail and morphs it to something strange. It, it works mainly on blurry, as you can see the sharp part of the image is still looks partially normal. In fact, it looks completely normal because it was a sharp image. Of course, if you do it too much, it'll destroy it, but right here when you see all that, it's like all distorted. And this is perfectly fine. It's because it's sharper. And next we have Threshold. Basically, it takes whatever level you're at, it'll take just that part. So... And then select color. I'll basically, just select the greens, turn them more cyan, more magenta, or more yellow, or more black. And you can also select the reds, greens, yellows, magentas, <laughs> magentas, blacks, and whites, and whatever else is in there. And then the gradient map does exactly what it says. It maps a gradient overneath, well, on top of the letter, layer, words. Who needs them? Basically, it just lets you put whatever you, whatever colors you want over top. And you can make your own by clicking down here, changing the colors. Like so, but that's a different tutorial. Voila. Alright, so that's about it for this tutorial. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.